When you think about pollution, which sorts of areas come to mind? Perhaps you think about litter on the ground, chemicals in our water, or gases in the air. But what about junk in outer space? The pollution of space is a serious environmental concern and is gaining more attention as the situation gets worse. Humans have been exploring space since the mid-20th century, and the term space junk refers to anything we've left behind in the process. Space junk is more extensive and varied than you might think. For example, when old satellites get left at high altitudes of 36,000 kilometres, they can continue to orbit the Earth for hundreds if not thousands of years. There are likely around 3,000 dead satellites currently circling our skies. Space junk can also consist of smaller bits and pieces accidentally left behind, like paint chips or debris from rockets. Or they can be items that have been deliberately put there. For example, objects that have been left on the moon include artwork by Andy Warhol and a photograph of an astronaut's family. Altogether, it's estimated that there are around 34,000 pieces of space junk larger than 10 centimetres and 128 million pieces larger than one millimetre in space. The repercussions of space junk are serious. One major risk is collisions. In 2009, the first known crash between satellites in space occurred when an inactive Russian satellite collided with an active US one. The presence of vast quantities of space junk can also lead to light pollution and solar radiation. As more technology companies seek to put satellites into space, we will likely see space junk increasing in the future. Solutions to the space junk problem include better regulation, monitoring existing debris, as the US Space Surveillance Network does, and making sure that satellites are removed once they're no longer active. There are also some new and exciting methods, such as Japan's Electronic Space Whip, a 700 metre long electrified wire that knocks debris into Earth's atmosphere for it to burn up. The University of Surrey has also tested a giant net that could sweep up debris. It's clear that we need to tackle the problem of pollution in space, just as we do on Earth. As the CEO of satellite company Inmarsat has said, unless we act now, an environmental crisis will be created in space.